Hey, welcome to Spirit Soul Sense, information for your soul. I am Sharice, and I'm actually filming this video in the middle of like the whole coronavirus, COVID-19 shutdown. Everyone's like really, you know, uncertain, uncomfortable, anxious about what's happening. Schools are closed, businesses are closing, um, and no one really knows like what's going to happen in the next few weeks. And I am home, enjoy, I'm in joy. I love being home. It's one of my favorite things to do, to do nothing at home. And I'm not really worried about what's going to happen. I have a lot of concern and sympathy and empathy for the people who are like on the front lines, for the people who are getting sick. But I really focus on things in my own life that I can control. And when there are things that I can't control, I really don't stress about it. I, I don't lose sleep over it. I don't ruminate on it. I don't figure out how I can find out or predict the future. It is not in me in this moment to control anything. I just think that's a perspective that a lot of us can benefit from. And I just wanted to share like how I got here, like anything. I mean, right now it is this pandemic. Um, in the future, it could be someone passing away, um, you know, someone else being like, it could be so many things in your life that you just have no control over um, that I think this would be helpful for any of those situations. One of my favorite books is Eckhart Tolle's The Power of Now, and I've probably read it like three times. I have a ton of notes inside because I feel like it has really helped change the way I think, change my perspective on life, on me, on my relationship with God, on how to be in the moment. Like the whole book is about how to be in the moment. So chapter one talks about you are not your mind. And I bought the book in 2014 and I've reread it, right? Like three times since then. Uh, we're now in 2020. And so when I first started reading the book, you know, there's like really great things. I think one of the standout things to me in chapter one that he says is you can stop thinking. I just, that had never occurred to me that I could turn off my mind, that that's a thing I could do. I didn't have to be controlled and consumed by my thoughts. I did not know that was possible. I thought that's just the way, you know, my mind worked, the way minds work. Um, I have a friend who I remember asking him one time because for me leaving the house is an ordeal like I make it bigger than it has to be but I really like staying home and so I try to put all the things in one day that I can do so that I can minimize the number of days that I have to go out and I was telling my friend one time like so what do people do like who don't overthink things like they just get up and go to the store he's like yeah yeah that's exactly what they do <laughs> It was like mind blowing for me. This is all like in a time of like really, really big transformation for me. It's like my early and mid twenties. And I have been practicing turning off my mind. After you become aware that you can turn off your mind, the way to practice is meditation. You really have to become like centered and one and have thoughts come and then go. And Eckhart Tolle talks about minding the gap. Like there is a space in between every thought that you have. Sometimes it's so small that you don't even notice it's there but once you start paying close attention to the way your thoughts are and slowing them down and letting them come and letting them go and not letting them control you you will find the gap you'll find the gap and you will find peace it's like blissful in that space so the first time i ever had this experience was right before i bought this book actually i was floating in the sea for the very first time i've always had so much anxiety and fear around like sinking and not being able to do it um but one time i just did it effortlessly and i was floating for a while and i got to that gap i got to that space where he's talking about where there are no thoughts like there's nothing happening there it's just like oneness stillness and it was beautiful and i was like i need to figure out how to do this again and I need to figure out how to do it longer. This is also why in one of my other videos, I say I stopped meditating because I transitioned from doing like 30 minute meditations where I watch my thoughts and let them go and increased the space, the gap that Eckhart Tolle is talking about. And I try to apply that to everyday experiences so that when I'm sitting and talking with another person, I'm like all the way here. I'm not thinking about being somewhere else. I'm not thinking about talking to somebody else. I'm just like here 
right now in this space with you, I'm so present. And so presence, practicing being present in everything that you do in life will get you to like this level of peace because right now, right? This is the middle of, you know, all these stores are closing. The grocery store has limited hours. But right now, life is okay. Right now, I have enough food. I have enough toilet paper. I have enough things to do. I'm still able to work because I have a job where I can work from home. Right now is great. Right now is so beautiful that there is nothing for me to worry about. There's nothing, I have nothing to worry about. So practicing being in the now has a lot to do with practicing being grateful. And I have a gratitude practice. You know, I'm going to continue doing my gratitude post where I just talk about like all the things that are going great in my life. Because when you focus on all those great things in your life, then you don't have any space for negativity. You don't have any space for scarcity thinking. You know, I have an abundance mindset. I'm not worried <laughs> about having enough food or I know that God will provide for all my needs and I'm not going to um, just think it's gonna happen because I, I do like thoughts control your reality, you know, your thoughts, you can manifest your thoughts. I do believe that, but you know, the Bible says faith without action is dead. If you don't do anything about it, like I can say, oh my gosh, I would like some ice cream. If I'm just gonna sit here, it, it might show up if someone comes to visit me, but that's only if I also allow that energy and space to come into my life. You have to go out and do and practice and be as positive as you can be and go after the things that you want. So if you want to be at peace, if you would like to sleep well at night, if you would like to let go of some of the anxiety around the uncertainty and the unknown, you have to release like those having to know, um, release the, the power to control and find the gap inside of your mind. Think to yourself that you can stop thinking. You can stop. I promise you, you can stop thinking. If you read this book, The Power of Now, if you get through chapter one, if it resonates with you, you can stop thinking and you can stop experiencing any kind of suffering because of what's going on. There are other practical things you can do, like stay off of social media, limit your exposure to the news. Um, if you know, if you're watching this video in that time, otherwise, you know, whatever else is happening in your life that may be causing you some anxiety, like say you have a friend who's addicted to substances, you just have to if you believe in God, leave it in God's hands. I think that's a great practice to do, to just, I cannot control it. You've got to acknowledge that first. You cannot fix anyone. You cannot control anyone's behavior. You can wish them well. You can pray for them. But you've got to let go and let God and find your gap. Just come to this present moment and think of all the great things about how how everything is okay i mean eckhart totally does talk about extreme circumstances like torture victim you know extreme things that are very important but that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about for the average person right now your level of anxiety may be at a seven or an eight out of ten and there are things that you can do right now that can have lasting effects for the way you live your life because stress is a big killer and what you need is your mind body and soul in alignment and meditation, practicing being in the now, turning off your thoughts, realizing that you are not your mind. You are not your thoughts. They're just thoughts. When you realize all of that, you practice it. I told you I bought this book in 2014. Okay, this is 2020. It's been a while for me practicing these things. I don't think anybody gets it overnight. Eckhart Tolle sort of kind of had an epiphany overnight. But, you know, for like regular people who are not like spiritual gurus, we have to practice this stuff to become like our, our most highly evolved selves. And I really do believe that everything happens for a reason. And the things that will come out of this, you know, COVID-19 are going to be for the advancement of the human species. I really, really believe that everything will work out to our good because the universe, God is conspiring to help us. This, you know, I, I just really believe that. You don't have to worry about things you cannot control. That's what I want to leave you with. There is a strategy that you can use to find peace in the midst of, you know, all this chaos. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm sending peace 
and light and love to you and thank you for watching.